Civility to me means treating everyone with respect and dignity. It's about being kind to each other, being respectful to each other, valuing each other. And that can make a difference to someone's day. Everybody comes to work to do a good job and everybody wants to be appreciated for what they do. Research has clearly shown that if we have been exposed to rudeness, this can decrease our cognitive function by up to 61%. There have been a few times where I do believe incivility has affected my work. It just brings you down and it's a major distraction. It just makes it a lot harder to function because your mind is just taken away from the task at hand. I think if people aren't happy and they're worried about how their colleagues perceive them, I think they don't perform as well. We're here for the patients and if we're not productive, we're not doing our safest work for patients. So it's really important to be civil to each other and to get the most out of each other. The end point of being not civil and or impolite and or rude to one another at work can obviously have an impact on patient care. It affects not only your rational thinking, it also affects the way you approach your next patient. And ultimately what happens is mistakes happen. If mistakes happen, the people who are at the end of that mistake are our patients and that's never our intention when we come to work. Research from Israel has shown that medical teams exposed to rudeness has reduced their performance has led to mistakes, to miscommunication, and that ultimately affects patient care. I had recently joined an organisation and I went over to introduce myself to one of the other managers. That person just pointed to a lanyard that was hanging from their computer screen and said that means don't interrupt. I was so shocked, I scurried away with my tail between my legs and I really didn't know what to say. I then subsequently met that person when I was doing my staff induction and they came over and introduced themselves and apologised and said, oh, I, I hadn't realised who you were. So it was kind of an apology, but I also thought, well, what's the relevance of that? Because you shouldn't be rude to anybody. And we did go on to have a very effective working relationship but it never stopped me being wary and that first impression has always stayed with me. We all work in challenging conditions, we work in challenging situations clinically and that can have an impact. Sometimes we are shorter with each other than we should be and sometimes we're working in really stressful situations as well as the fact we do need to give each other feedback. Feedback can be challenging to receive but it's around giving that feedback, being kind when we do it but also I think a really important thing is that once that's done, it's done. I'm not continuing it, I'm not holding a grudge. The next time I see you I'm going to be warm, we're going to carry on our professional relationships. I think it's very important that you say good morning, you've got your pleases, your thank yous. You've got doctors that will say hello back to you. Sometimes you get blanked and I just think to myself if that's how you're going to treat us a cleaner that's going in and cleaning up after you, then how are you going to be treating your patients? And then you've got the other extreme, you've got students that will go out of their way to make a dream come true. I've always wanted to go into an open top car, didn't know this student from Adam. I asked him if I could have a ride in it and he said yes. He actually took me out on my birthday. A time I think civility can have a real impact is when new colleagues join the team. I specifically remember those people who welcome me to the team with open arms and I think that it makes you feel comfortable in those first few days and weeks and it makes a real difference and I think it's good for team harmony. If the team works together and everyone's friendly then you have good outcomes so I think sort of my message on civility would be be really extra nice to new colleagues because it probably means more to them than you realise. When you're working and someone says thank you or smiles at you. There's a relief from the inside, even if you're going through a pressure of, of trying to achieve a task. It makes you feel confident in yourself. It makes you feel like you're doing the right thing. A recent incident involved one of my colleagues where a sensitive message was posted on a work WhatsApp group. So as soon as I saw that message, I picked up the phone and rang my colleague and said, could you please delete that message? When I did see my colleague, I said, I, I'm really sorry, I was a bit abrupt. And there was silence and there were tears. And I thought, wow, what have I done? I've really upset my colleague who I really respect and trust. It's about not just what you say, but how you say it, but to recognize the impact that it has when we're carrying that frustration because of the way we've been treated, it takes our focus away from what we're trying to do in work. So when we deliver patient care, 
and the importance of what we do is so high, incivility can really impact on, on patient safety and experience. We've got a pre-alert, but a very sick cardiac arrest that was coming in. The team leader and was very, very visibly stressed out and wasn't explicitly clear and was not kind while asking for certain requests to do with the treatment of the patient. When it comes to dealing with our colleagues, we have to keep in mind that everybody is under a tremendous amount of stress, not just one person. I think incivility is contagious. If one person is unkind to another, then they're more likely to perpetuate that and make the work environment just unpleasant for everyone. I think breaking that cycle is really important. It costs nothing to smile at somebody and say hello as you walk down the corridor past them. It could mean the whole world to them, you don't know what else is going on with them at home and it could mean the whole difference to their day and make them more productive as well. I think generally here I see a real strong culture of civility but I have no doubt there will be pockets where that behaviour isn't always shown. And I think what's really important here is we create an environment and a culture where people feel psychologically safe to call that behaviour out because if we don't get that right, it will persist. People don't challenge it, and the risk is that we don't change the culture of the organisation, that we expect civil behaviour all the time. Whatever our role, we can all make a difference. Be sincere in what you say and do. Saying thank you. Leave a positive note. Practice humility. Be respectful. Show compassion and empathy. Are you lifting people up or holding them down? Share credit. Say hello. 